Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll be going over Socket.io and we'll be building a simple chat application using React and Express. And this is how it'll work. We can enter a room. So for example, these two will be in room one, while this will be in room two. And we can send a message, let's say hello, in room one, and the users in room one will see the message. But if, but this user won't, but if this user was in room one, and if the middle user sent a message saying subscribe to Samir Karel, then the two users will see the message. And today we'll be building this using React, Express, and Socket.io. Before we start programming, I've opened up a, a clean folder inside of VS Code, and we can make the client uh, directory, so we can do npm create v at latest. Uh, whoops, it's npm create v at latest. And we can call this the client. We'll be using React and JavaScript. Now we can cd into the client and npm install. This could take a while, so I'll come back when it's done. Once it's installed everything, you also want to npm install socket.io-client. And once you've done that, cd out of it and make a, di uh, make a directory call server. cd into the server and do npm init y to initialize this as a, um, as a node. So open up the server and the client. And in the server, we all uh, we also want to npm install nodemon express socket io and cores. So this could also take a while, so I'll come back when it's done. Okay, never mind, it's done. All right, so once it's done this, we can close this, and in the server, we can make a file called server.js, and in the package, we can uh, after the test, we can add another one called dev. And we can do nodemon server.js. All right. Once we've done that, we can begin programming our backend. All right. So what we'll do is we will first program the entire backend, and after that we will run it, and then after that we will finally uh, start programming our front end. So first in the backend, we want to import um, all the things that we need. So we'll import Express. And we will um, uh, make an express app. So we'll do const app is is equal to express. And then we will do const HTTP is going to be require. Now we're using HTTP because that's uh, how we're going to connect our socket IO server because uh, socket IO is actually an HTTP server, right? And then after that, we will do const server is equal to require socket.io and then we will do const course is equal to require course and then we will do app.use course and then we will set up the server so we'll do const server is is equal to http.create server and it'll be in the app all right once we've done that we can uh, set up our uh, socket IO. So we're gonna make the socket IO object server, which is gonna have cores and the methods that we use. So for this, we will do const IO is equal to new server, and we will pass in the server, and this will be an object. And the course policies are gonna be as follows. The origin is going to be HTTP, uh, so double slash localhost comma uh, 5173 because that's where our front end is going to be running on and the methods that we're going to allow from this is going to be get and post all right once we've done that we can actually uh, do all the connections and we can set up the functions for when the user sends a message or when the user joins the room and then after that we can finally run our app so let's make the uh, connection. So we'll do io.on. Now, whenever the user connects, we will make a function with the socket. And then uh, after that, we're going to make this a callback function. And in here, we can do socket.on send message. So whenever the user sends a message, uh, this will be from the front end. We're going to expect data. And that'll be a callback function. And what we will do is we will do socket 
dot two. So we're gonna send this to the data dot room. So whichever room the user is in, and this is gonna be dot emit receive underscore message, and then this will be the data that we receive. So we can save that, and below the send message, we can make the uh, join room function. So we'll do socket dot on. This will be join underscore room and we're gonna expect some data the sort of room id and then we're gonna make a function which socket dot join and this is going to room uh, and this is gonna join the room so once we do that we can save that also and uh once we've done that we can actually run our app so we can do server dot listen uh we, we can run this on port 3000 and it's not going to be used so this will be a function and we can just console dot log saying server started on port 3000 so once we save this we can open up a terminal and let me actually clear everything and we will do uh, npm run dev there we go server started on port 3000 so once we've done this we can close the terminal and close server.js open up the app.js and actually start programming the app so i went ahead and ran the react app and i've already opened it up so basically first you want to delete the index.css and the app.css there we go once you've done that uh, just delete everything in the app.jsx file if you have any boilerplate and just do export default function app and we also want to import use state and use effect from react and we want to import io from uh, socket.io-client all right once you've done that just set up the socket so we'll do const socket is equal to io.connect and uh, for this we need a URL and if you remember we actually set up our socket IO URL to be HTTP colon localhost uh, and then 3000 so we actually set up it on port 3000 once you've done that in the app function just have a return and have a div and in here we're just gonna put everything that we need so uh, we'll do an input let's say this is a placeholder that says room code and we will have a button that says join room and we can have another input with the placeholder being uh, message and a button that says send message all right once you've done that let's actually make up a few state variables so we'll do const uh, message and set message is equal to use state this is just be empty for now and we can do const uh, server message and set server message and this will also be use state with empty and the reason we're calling it server message is because whenever another user sends a message then it'll first have to go through server and then that's why server message and then we also need a room so we know which room that we're in there you go alright once we've got this we can uh, set up a few functions so we can do const send message is equal to a function and we can do socket dot emit and we're gonna be calling the send message function that we made and this is going to pass in the message being the uh, message and a room being the room code that we're in right now all right once you've got that we can set up another function to join a room so we'll do const join room is equal to a function and we will do if room is not equal to empty so if the room isn't empty then we will just do socket dot emit and we will call the join room function and we in here we can just pass in the room code that uh, we entered so um, also in the um, state variable just remove these uh, this parentheses since we don't need that all right just save the file and then 
in the first input, let's make a on change. So this will be an event, and we will set the room to be e dot target dot value, and then after that, the button here, the button when we click this, we're just going to call the join room function, and for the input, the message we'll do on change. This will be an, uh, an event, and we will set message to be e dot target dot value. And now also for the button, we'll just do uh, on click, we will send message. All right, once we've got that, we also need to set up a use effect, which checks. Uh, so let's say if the server sends a message, then we need a way to be able to see the message. So we're just gonna be constantly checking whenever the server changes. So we'll do use effect. And the dependency array, we'll just put socket. So whenever the server changes something, the component will be render and in here it's pretty simple just do socket dot on receive message and we're gonna get the data and what we'll do is we will make this a function which will set the server message to be data now we can save this and uh, I think we've got an error hold on it is initialized let me see what's going on here. The error that we got was pretty simple. Just go to your main.jsx and just remove the import index.css. And once you do that, it should be good. Should be good to go. All right. And um, also under this button, let's have a ternary operator that checks. Uh, so if we so if we have some some sort of server message, then we're gonna display it here. So we're gonna do uh, an h1, and we will check. If we have some server message, so it's any message from the server, then we're going to display the server message dot uh, message. Else, we're just gonna display nothing. All right, we can save this, and let me actually. There we go. So I've actually opened up two of these, right there. Nice. All right, so let's just enter a room code one, and one, and let's send a message. Let's say hello, how are you? And uh, hold on, let me see what went wrong. Are we in the room? All right, I found the error. In the H1, I had an error in the typing. Uh, this should be message, not message. So once you've got that, it should be fixed. So we can send a message. So let's do um, hi, and there we go. And we can also send a message from here. We can say subscribe, and there we go. And uh, let's say if this user is in room five, and we send a message saying I'm in room 5 then uh, this user is not gonna get the message at all but if this user was in room 5 also and we said I'm in room 5 there we go it'll say I'm in room 5 and say uh, I'm also in room 5 and there we go alright so this is just a simple tutorial on socket IO and how to integrate it with react if you found it helpful please subscribe thanks for watching I'll see you on the next one